Hello and welcome to Wargaming Hard, the YouTube channel that aims to improve your gaming skills. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be the first person notified when the new video is released. As you have possibly already noticed, today's video will be a little bit different than all of my previously made so far. Please allow me to explain what today's video will be about. One of the subscribers has sent me his gameplay replay uh, and asked me to give him a little bit more feedback or guidance what he could do better. But, as I know there is uh, loads of good players watching this uh, my channel, uh, as well as there are loads of the new players, I thought, you know what, the best will be actually to share it with all of yourselves. Uh, so the really, really good players can leave the feedback below the video and all of the new players or those who are looking for improvement of uh, their game skills can actually just read the comments and get better from it, not just have only solely my own comments on the video. Well, I have to say I don't have this plane in my hangar yet. Uh, the plane looks quite interesting, that's what I can give you a hint just before we'll go into the battle, and I would say, you know what, I think I might just go uh, and try to get one, although at the moment I'm developing different branches of the Russian uh, tech tree. Before we'll go to gameplay replay, uh, let's have a look on uh, plane modules and parameters. So in regards of the quick modules, I can see uh, the, the most important one for us, I think, is just the 420 millimeter autocannons. I presume he already developed that and has got the, the top ones, which is the 100 damage and 700 meter range, which I'm sure will give you a really, really good uh, power in regards of sitting on someone six and trying to shoot them, which uh, I hope we'll be able to see in a minute. In regards of the, the parameters of the plane, um, I would say maneuverability around 60 altitude performance, I think it's pretty good for that tier, and airspeed is somewhere in between as well. Well, if I would be looking for the maneuverability, it's not something that you want to take in your dogfight. It would be something similar as I showed on one of my previous videos with the Key or KI ATA Japanese plane. So possibly I would try to sort of like overrun or just just have a quick hit and go, and don't go into the the planes with the more that are more maneuverable than yourself, because because definitely you are not going to uh, win the dogfights here. Let's have a quick look comparing it uh, to other Russian Tier Seven fighter planes. So as you can see. Um, in this comparison, uh, which is on the World of Warplanes, which you, anybody can do, unfortunately you can only compare three planes to, together. On the gun armament, the I-220 is the best in here, of course, with the 420mm cannons. Uh, I don't think there is a surprise in here. Uh, in regards of survivability, it's very similar, but I'm just guessing Lavochkin LA-7 is just getting it the edge in here because of the bit more hit points. Uh, in regards of the airspeed and of course the, the best altitude, maximum dive speed, etc., uh, our I-220 is, is taking the edge and of course that is automatically just, just showing the altitude performance uh, almost twice as big as the other two. Uh, of course, as I mentioned, uh, unfortunately the maneuverability on this plane is the worst amongst all of these uh, tier 7 fighter planes uh, just on the Russian tree. Um, so yeah, uh, I would say definitely uh, dogfights are not recommended unless uh, you are fighting the less maneuverable planes, then by all means. Uh, otherwise, I think it should be a very very quick uh, hit and run approach, at least that would be uh, that would be my personal recommendation. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, the gameplay replay. So, um, what I would do here, uh, looking at the minimap very quickly, definitely either left or right garrison, that would be one of the first points I would go and try to help uh, to take over, and then I would aim to go to the middle, uh, where is the airbase, and try to help to capture this point. Uh, so that will give us a definitely nice control of majority of the points and also help the team to respawn in the, in the center, uh, which would allow them to get into the combat, combat much, much, much faster. Uh, and from that point, well, the, 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 all, all depends uh, how, the, how the game plane will be uh, evolving, because of course everything also depends on your team, uh, who you're playing with, uh, how your team works together. I have one very kind request with uh, to all of you, please. Uh, I I'm going to share this video to on different platforms: uh, Facebook, Reddit, uh, uh, Discord channel. Uh, but if you will, if you'd like to leave uh, your good feedback, good comments, uh, recommendations, how the things can be done better, 
please leave them in the comments below the video on the YouTube. This will be the best for everyone uh, to be able to see it. Not everybody is on Discord, not everybody is uh, on all of the groups for on Facebook and so on. So please leave your comments underneath the video. Uh, all of the players who are seeking uh, for, for improving their game skills uh, definitely will be uh, much easier for them to just go and uh, read the comments underneath the video. Uh, so please leave it uh, leave it on the YouTube. Okay, um, just looking at the gameplay, I think uh, these four 20 mm cannons definitely you can see it's, it's nothing nothing to mess with. Um, they are they are yeah they are delivering what they're supposed to be delivering. Uh, just uh, I'm just guessing you have a pilot as well uh, that helps uh, helps with aiming, which is uh, which is of course decreasing dispersion, uh, and that that gives a, a really uh, that that gives the boost. Uh, so yeah, so far I think this is exactly how I would try to play this uh, this plane. One uh, little recommendation I could have give you uh, and you all guys is uh, very often you will see on my YouTube video uh, on the minimap I'm switching and I've, I've pressed it on uh, set it up the way that once I pre press the Alt on my keyboard, it's allowing me to switch not from just seeing the red arrows but seeing the uh, aircraft types on the minimap, so I know whether I'm, um, there's a target for me worth to chasing it or someone to look after. Uh, to not not sit down on my six and uh, be in danger for me to just uh, being shot down. Uh, so at the moment I can see a lot of little uh, triangles, but you'd have to guess uh, and look around which which uh, type of the aircraft is it. Uh, and that sometimes very often is, uh, is also allowing or aiding me uh, in order to choose the right target. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it's very simple way to, of setting it up on your on your settings in uh, uh, on uh, in the game. So that that would be my good recommendation, guys. It, it helps if you're checking minimap frequently. It helps of differentiating and picking up your targets more uh, carefully, not just chase uh, any any other random target because you can see the little arrow. Okay. So far, I have to say, I would possibly try to play more or less in exactly the same uh, style as uh, uh, you are just demonstrating it really, really well. Uh, one thing I can just have a quick look on the minimap is just like as soon as those those threats of the guys who are from the enemy team that is trying that are trying to take this uh, air base, uh, try to just just shoot them down quickly and try to help them to take another garrison base. Because uh, as, as you can see at the moment, it's still not taken by our team. So just like, come on, the attack planes bombers should be already there, and just just try to take this, uh, take this spot. So possibly as soon as I would remove a few planes from the airbase, I would like to try to go uh, there. Which uh, I think, I think you might you might be heading towards the direction. So yeah, I would say exactly the same perfect decision for for me. I would, I would do exactly the same thing. Yes, it is a really, really good decision to go and uh, help to take over the other base, the other garrison. Uh, and this plane is perfect. Uh, I'm just checking it at the moment on uh, my second screen against Tier 7 uh, BF109 and Spitfire 9. And uh, yeah, it's, it has got as equally uh, good speed, uh, cruising speed if I can say that way, as BF109. So it, it, the, the style of the gameplay will be very, very similar. Well done. And the base is taken really good well done uh, but still the gun armament is on the Russian plane so definitely uh, that shows you all guys that those 20 millimeter cannons four of them on this plane is nothing to mess with uh, so just be careful when you will be facing this plane uh, when you're playing against it and of course once this base is taken uh, returning very quickly back into the center because as you can see the other team is uh, continuously trying to take it over so of course helping to defending it uh, the fighter planes are uh, purpose is to actually help with taking over the uh, certain bases or strateg strategical points or to defend them uh, so absolutely right choice of going back and trying to defend the uh, the air base and yeah look uh, that that plane yeah, those, those 20 minute cannons are powerful. Sorry for repeating it, but I think you can see it. <laughs> just look at that. Um, they are just doing their job, which is really, really good. Um, you know, I have to get myself this plane. Uh, I know I've repeated it a few times already, but I think uh, that just proves and shows that in the right hands, this plane uh, will 
definitely help in providing quite a significant damage. Uh, and look, he's just chasing the, the heavy fighter. Heavy fighter very often uh, having the edge of trying to outrun the fighter planes, try to run away. There was no chance for this one this time. Uh, he just chased him, got him down, sorted, uh, <laughs> asked and delivered, job done. So uh, I would say well done for this one. As team has achieved the superiority by taking all of the points, I'm guessing the battle will not uh, will not take uh, very long to end, and you can just guess the result of it. Uh, which I, can, I, I think is well deserved. Uh, if the whole team uh, played well together, then of course the, the result is nothing, not, nothing to be surprised with. Uh, I think and I hope you enjoyed watching this gameplay replay as much as I did. Personally, I think it was a really well played battle, so well done to you. Also, please bear in mind that I think on the fuselage you can see two stars, which indicates that he didn't play many battles in this plane so far. But, as you can see, uh, the result can be uh, quite good, uh, and especially when in the light of the, the current battle. Uh, if I can see it correctly, the battle took like less uh, six, 6 minutes 50 seconds, so under 7 minutes, uh, taking down 16 planes. That is pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned in the beginning, please leave your feedback, a good recommendation and any other comments uh, below this video so everybody can read and uh, gain something from it, which I think this is the main purpose of why I'm doing it, so everybody can just get better uh, in playing this game and also enjoy playing this game because that's that's what it is uh, that's what it is about so uh, thank you very much for your time again uh, and uh, see you during the next video bye bye